Richard has become somewhat of a cult hero, right? I mean, he only went into the game just to hit that one shot. Honestly. So now he's making the rounds as the Celtics continue to celebrate their championship win. Hey, man, just like a great musician, you only need one hit to be able <laughs> to secure true. your spot in history. Today, several of them decided to get a close shave here. NBC 10's Colton Bradford, he's got a closer look. In Boston, the city's latest champions are kicking back after their whirlwind victory. Al Horford, Derek White, and Peyton Pritchard are trading their basketball shorts for a seat in the barber's chair at Gillette's World Shaving Headquarters. You've had a busy week, probably haven't had time for a proper shave and just a moment to relax, so let's kick off the shave. Gentlemen. The championship shave tradition was revived thanks to the Celtics' victory over the Dallas Mavericks in the NBA Finals last Monday. Alongside their grooming session, each player also had $25,000 donated to Best Buddies, Boys and Girls Club, and the Special Olympics of Massachusetts. And each took time to reflect on their championship run. After winning the championship, I think the most special part was being able to do the parade. That parade was unreal. I didn't know really what to expect going in, but that was just mind-blowing. He was on the, the duck boats and beers are flying. And, and now that they have a trophy and a fresh shave, the guys plan to head into summer in different ways. Go back uh, down to Dominican Republic, see everybody down there. Hopefully they'll let me bring the trophy down. Laying low for a little bit, recovering from this last week. I'll spend some time out the the Cape and back home in Oregon. I have a wedding in uh, August 10th, so kind of have to get ready for that. That's your wedding? Yeah. Congratulations. Uh, uh, for these baby-faced Celtics players, it's not just about victory on the court, but the memories and downtime that follow as they trim the way for the next championship in Titletown. Colton Bradford, NBC10 Boston.